Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Mass Effect. Last time we left off, we were in the midst of shenanigans. What's new? We did a lot of side questing. We found a false signal that the Geth planted that um, almost led to our doom. We also did some hacking, got some new things. We also fought a giant space worm. What's new? And now we are back at it again. So we got quite a few things on our roster to do. I want to knock off a few more side quests. And I know we need to go back to the Citadel ultimately because we have a few things to check in and to turn in there. So Earth's Moon, Maroon Sea Cluster, and Matano. Okay, we got two Maroon Sea Cluster boys. Amazon in the Voyager Cluster, Hades, Gamma, and Taze. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do both of these guys in the... Maroon Sea Cluster. Maroon Sea Cluster, okay, Vostok and... Ma and uh, Matano. Vostok and Matano. Easy. How was dinner? I actually haven't eaten lunch yet. It's 1 p.m. real time for me. I uh, have eaten uh, breakfast, so I had a little snack. And then after this session, this stream, I will order myself a fat stack of food and eat like a liner. Them's the plans. All right. C cluster, Vostok and Matano. We'll start with Matano. Faster than light travel is so cool. Ooh, sup, eh? Suppe has the composition of an ice dwarf planet, but is unusually large for such a body. It has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The frozen surface is dotted with deposits composed of potassium and light metals, brought to the surface by cryovolcanic processes. Suppe's... <laughs> Sup, eh? Its icy surface was often used as a source of potable water by passing merchant vessels. Since the Alliance claimed the inner system world of Chaska, satellites placed in orbit auto automatically bill any vessel landing on the world for the mass of water removed from the surface. Exogeny has had a difficult time keeping these satellites operational. They often meet with accidents caused by impact with jettisoned ship debris. Magnesium. So, the Alliance claimed this system and so satellites placed in orbit will automatically bill any vessel landing on the world for the water they remove that's wild that is some shit i would be pissed if i got a traffic ticket for that it's like the cameras at the stoplights that like you don't know are there the hidden ones and then you find out two months later this has never actually personally happened to me knock on wood but in theory the you don't know it's there they're like you land on this planet because you need to for whatever reason and then you get a bill in your inbox like a month later being like you have you have evaporated this amount this many liters of water from the planet supe the alliance has fined you five thousand dollars i'd be like what the fuck inti Inti is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere composed of ammonia and helium. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of magnesium. Its density is rather low, leaving the planet tide locked to Matano. Inti is an unremarkable world, draw drawing little more than a cursory scan for surface pirate anchorages when Alliance patrols enter the system. A toll road in space, right? Oppo! Yep, yep. <laughs> a craggy world of in igneous and basaltic mountains. Apo is racked by constant geologic activity. While volcanic hotspots are rare, continental plates are constantly piling up new mountains, subducting old ones, or causing slips along transform vaults. Apo has a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Due to the constant earthquakes and landslide activity, surface exploration is not advised. The rubble-covered wrecks of a half-dozen expeditionary ships stand in mute testament of the planet's instability. God 
Damn. Chaska. Chaska is a large but low density world. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, tidally locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in a scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, temperatures range around, or temperatures average around 30 Celsius. Combined with a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, this slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Chaska Ring is, is, is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Installation art. Chaska is very early development, with little more than a few pioneer teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collected about native hazards and ecology while a massive colonist recruiting drive is gearing up back on Earth. What's not to like? It seems pretty pleasant. All right, just the girls. Full biotic electronic. <laughs> Anomaly. Let's go to that guy first. This looks like a weird area. Why would the entire map be empty up here? I know I said I wouldn't veer off road, but like, this is a very sketchy open area. For like no reason. Hmm. We pave our own roads with the Mako. You're goddamn right. Oop, rocks. Ooh, multiple rocks. Come on, come on, little guy. You got this. Oh, fuck, that is a whole ass wall. We do not, in fact, have this. Let's go around the valley. Anomaly. Ba -ba -da -da. Anomaly. Ba -ba -da -da. Dear God. Plutonium. Oof. We're fine. Where is it? This is a flat level terrain. We're good. Hell yeah. The abuse this Mako has taken is unbelievable. Dude, I was pissed. I was playing Red Dead Redemption. And I... Let's just say I did a quest that was long. And... Multi-leveled. And at the end of it, they gave me $20. The reward. I was like... I've gotten more from shitty bounty hunting. Are you kidding me? I mean, $20 is $20, but... Whoa, that's beautiful. I'm gonna die. Wee! Clip that!
palladium. They do be scamming. I was like, bro. I just spent like the entire game basically doing this stupid mission. <laughs> I mean, it was really cool. It was really cool. It was definitely more rewarding doing the mission. Like it was it wasn't I don't regret doing it. I was just shocked that I only got $20 out of it, is all I'm gonna say. Holy damn, y'all are stingy. This is cute. What happened to this colony? I've got a bad feeling about this. Is there anything? Oh, okay. Hmm. Here we go. Awkwardly quiet bunker time. Enemy sighted. Oh, it's husks. So quiet. I can hear my everything. Ow. It is new. Get Boop. Guy. <laughs> so many little dudes running around. All right. No door here. Is there one up here? Ooh, storage lockers. Let's go. Honestly, I'm just gonna go back to the... That's what I call it, the cathedral. Whatever that place is called. And, uh... Sell everything. I have so much shit. Effectively, I'm a junk storage locker at this given time. I just have so much shit. I'm surprised I still have capacity in my inventory to, like, carry anything. I just have- I just have been picking up copious amounts of... ...randomness. Citadel. That's what it's called. Jesus. It's a good sign. I see some red. Guessing these are gonna be some geth boys, some goth boys. Any hot single local husks in my area? There they are. Have mercy. The entire colony must have been it's kind of fucked up. <sighs> I just completely unalived him. Um, is this another bunker to go into?
Oh my god. It is. Hi, Peach. How are you? Jesus. We got bunks for days. Ah, the awkward silence. I live for it. Why are they standing behind a wall, you idiots? That was nice. Perfect opportunity for a granada. Very nice. Good job, ladies. You guys did kind of nothing, but I'm just happy you were here, you know? They stood behind a wall, shooting at it. And they are still shooting at a wall. Alright. All targets eliminated. Thank you. Cage, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Suppressing fire. All targets eliminated. Ooh, we got some juicy tea. Colonial Pioneer Team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Ooh. Ooh. All targets eliminated. Okay. It's kind of fun. Oh, look, an empty, empty room. I guess they uh, must have moved out of this one. Okay. Bioware really said, eh, not that one. Don't worry about that one. This little guy, don't worry about this little guy. We don't talk about that room. You left some loot in the other room, did I? Was it valuable? That was the yoga room. Oh, that's where they practice Zumba. Ah, technician kit. How dare I? Uh, was that it? Did I miss- was that the box? Was- was that what I missed? I went all the way back here. For that? Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's two things. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Hi, MCR. I honestly, my brain is mush at this point. I don't even know what loot I have. I have been auto grabbing everything like a vacuum. I have no idea. I have no conception of what is in my inventory at all. And I don't plan on looking at it until we get to the Citadel. I think you dropped a penny on the other side of the galaxy. Please go back and pick it up. Do I still have to go to the last guy? Civilian structure. Me and Starfield. Wee! Yeah, I'm gonna make sure the squad has the best gear and, uh, like, equip everything that I can, and then I'm literally just gonna sell everything else. That's the move whenever I get to the Citadel. It's gonna be like a... A spring cleaning for the soul. Alright, little... Pss, pss, pss. Come here, little husks. Pss, pss, pss. 
This is kind of sad. There's entire human colonies. I got husked out. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. Kind of fucked up. They came out here and they're like, we have the chance for a better life. New opportunities. Let's colonize. And then they got fucking yeeted and turned into the blue man group. What a f unfortunate fate. Stop! Shoot! What the fuck was that, Liara? Liara. Who raised you? Jesus, do not shoot incendiaries. At your teammates! Whoops. Now would be a good time. He's lost. This guy is so lost. Come here. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the Negative contact, Shepard. Negative contact, Shepard. Just me alone with my thoughts, walking through this entire bunker. I'm so glad I'm streaming this game and that, there's, that I have company, otherwise this would be such a lonely road to walk. God forbid I forget a crate. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Ooh, rocks. Ooh, debris. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Good golly gosh. I'm gonna get this debris real quick. And then we're gonna get those rocks real quick. I don't think money is useless. I'm saving up for this stuff in the Spectre store. I don't actually know what any of it is. I just remember I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's expensive. So I guess I gotta, I'm gonna make it my goal to like buy that stuff. I don't know. You gotta have goals, right? What the f fork is all this? Fuck. Hoo-wee! Huh. Oh. Oh, surveyed. It's the good shit. That's kind of what I assumed. I was like, oh, it's expensive. It, it's gotta be good, right? So... As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to earn enough money. I have to make at least a million schmeckles so I can afford this... armor, or whatever it is. I don't know, I just assumed... You are a specter. This is a specter shop. Therefore, these are going to be the good things to have. Oh my god, it's on the other side of the freaking... Niagara Falls. This is giant. How? Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna improv. It's fine. Just me and my little Mako. It's fine. We got this, chat. It's fine. Everyone believe. 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 The spirit of friendship. Anything is possible. Just believe, chat. Just believe. Just believe? Fuck. Is it a 
across that wall? Or am I silly? Fuck. I think it's across the wall. All right, let's try the other side of the mountain. I found you, Miss New Bunker. Turn that shit upside down. I'm a spelunker. With my girls, Liara and Tally. When we in there, you know that we rally. Alright, I quit. I quit! All passengers are concussed. Is it unmodded playthrough? I didn't even know this game had mods, so yes. Cannot imagine what mods are around, but that sounds interesting. God damn it, why? Why is everything on a 90 degree slope? God damn it. We're fine. We're good. Jesus Christ. We're good. 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 Oh my God. Oh, thank God we found the Illuminati. Okay. Ancient pyramid structure. Nice. Um, hmm. Hmm. Whee! Ah! Prothean data disk recovered. There are several small Prothean artifacts in the crate, including an intact Prothean data disk. Appears to be in excellent condition. Heck yeah! So if I discover all the Prothean data disks, I will eventually maybe discover about the Protheans? They'll give us a little piece of info? Maybe? Well, that was fun. We did the C guy. The last one. Ooh. Galapa is a hydrogen helium gas giant with an unusual ruby color caused by contaminants in the atmosphere. The world is over 120 moons, one of the highest totals of all known systems. Once full development of Chaska Colony begins, a helium-3 refining infrastructure will be developed in the Ilapa system, concentrated on the large ice moon of Kani Raya. Alright, we had Matano and Vostok, right? For the other sea, sea diaries. Clamarthu. Sounds like a disease. Clamarthu has a reducing atmosphere of methane and nitrogen. The surface is hot and mainly composed of sodium with deposits of uranium. In terms of size and orbit, Clamarthu is a virtual twin of Earth, but utterly lacks life. Clamarthu's a buzzkill. Alco. The geological properties of Alco have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it. A fairly typical mixed outer system, terrestrial of rock and ice, Alco has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its crust is composed of silicates and water ice with deposits of aluminum. Unregistered starship traffic has been recorded in the vicinity of this planet. Travel is not advised. A Titan. A Titan? A Titan? 
Our other small hydrogen helium gas giant, Pitaiton's atmosphere contains large quantities of chlorine. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Pitaiton were received revealed a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and determined it was Sasari made, but very old. She's covered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one of Matriarch Dilinga's writings. Notacrux. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Score! Hell yeah, brother! Notacrux is a verdant world with, with abundant water, temperate climate. Is this a picture of it? Is it- is this the joke? Because it's with abundant water. It's just- uh, nothing. It's just blue. I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Not that they forgot to put a picture there. Uh, perfect for life. The relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive, though it also has allowed insect analogs to grow to frightful sizes. Ugh. Unfortunately, Notocrux is a case of almost not quite. Thunderstorms are as common as on Earth, but in Notocrux's thicker, oxygen-rich atmosphere, they are deafening and spark constant wildfires. More damning, however, are the large and ubiquitous tufts of pollen that float on the high-pressure air. In humans and other oxygen-breathing species, they cause severe or lethal allergic reactions. Man-eating bugs? I miss Rex. Man-eating bugs and pollen that kills people. Sounds like a hoot. Hmm. Right off the bat, I don't even need to look at the map because the mini-map is showing oodles of red dots. Welcome to the south. Actually true. Man-eating bugs and ridiculous <laughs> allergies. Oh, creepers. Wait, the Thorian creepers. Wait. Weren't the plant people constricted to a different pharaohs? Weren't all the plant people on pharaohs? You're telling me there's also plant people here in a completely separate cluster? Wait a minute. Got him. Yeet. Big wait till there's an opening, girl. I don't like to play Frogger with the squares. Okay, that was silly. I meant to hit shift. <laughs> Yeet. I want those rocks. I see them on the border. I see you. Holy cannoli. Wee! That gold? Yeah, baby, let's go. Thirteen hundred there are a thousand schmeckles. Nice. Now how the fork do I get out of here? I guess same way opposite of the way we came in. They would make us have to go this way, wouldn't they? God damn it. You need to turn back. How am I supposed to get out? You've put me in the valley of death. As I may go ride through the valley of death, I look at the gold and then I look at myself. What have I done? And then I can't get out. Joker says, what am I going on about? 
How the fuck am I supposed to... I see the rays of God guiding me. Please! Jesus Christ, I'm free! God! Okay. Where am I going? Jesus, I really was just like out there, huh? Go towards the light. This is fine. doing on this mission one of them was like the recovering the samples I don't remember oh my god more rocks do I care the last rocks on this planet were painful enough please don't be surrounded by rocks oh god Please be on the base of this, and not on the other side. It's on the other... Is it? Yep, it's directly on the other side of this. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna lose it! I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it! Fine. The amount of time I just spent doing this exact same thing. Bruh. I could have sworn. I was like, is this just me? Did anyone else have struggles with this? I see a beacon. Of sorts. Something is shining. Okay, if you pretend hard enough, this kind of is almost a road. Everyone has struggles with this? Okay, good. It's a meme, everyone hates this vehicle? Okay, good. the Thorians here? Oh my god, are you guys okay? Go. Problem solved. They were like, bouncing around. Now there's music. Oh my god, ew, plant. You. Why is the plant here? Oh my god, and there's so many of them. Ew.
Hmm. Interesting. Have they already weaponized it? And they were testing... <gasps> no! What if the Geth have already... Or exit the the exogenesis what if they lied or something and like they've already found a way to weaponize it and then they brought it to this colony to test it out oh that would be so fucked they're claiming that it's only there oh thank god see i told you somebody would come to investigate that signal my name is dr ross chief exogeny researcher at this facility mm -hmm. we've been trapped in this room for days we're almost out of food and water you got here just in time what happened here? I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I was on Pharos. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. What? Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Oh, you poor things. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal the from the fork? emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Yeah, no big deal. The entire planet basically died. Yeah, Maybe it's fine. Some of the other people at the base might still be alive. Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. Ah. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. Good. Serves you right. I've heard all I need to. Hopefully you can Look. never use it again. I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Right, because you wouldn't go and turn around and do the exact same thing over again if you had the chance to, right? There's no way you would do that, right? Yeah, so if I don't report you, you're definitely not going to resume some weird, inhumane, psycho... fucking psychopath testing? What are you offering? Maybe we can work something out. Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. Money to let a bunch of scumbags loose. I should kill you right now. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! All right, you... Weirdo. Uh, that's not going to happen. Dies in one shot. Exogeny second rate mercenaries provide no match for a trained alliance marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here. Um, that- I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Have you seen me? <laughs> silly, silly scientist. Four shots, four bodies. Goofballs. These guys were so silly. We were 
were just experimenting with the husks. It was just a silly little time. But, you know, they're all dead now. It's over now. Just like, you know, just let us go. We're totally not going to jump on the opportunity to do it again. If there's any similar thing. Let me out! Heck yeah, brother. Let them rot. I wish there was a slice of Thorian left. <laughs> to let them experience the pain of transitioning into a zombie. While they're still alive and the plant eats at their cranium. Just kidding, that's silly. Uh -huh. But actually. <laughs> Hi, Rogue. <laughs> Alright. Good job, gang. Heck yeah, brother. We did both of the C missions. I'm just gonna go back to the Citadel. Now. Feeling saucy. Feel like we've done a lot. Feel like it's time to offload all of our goods and turn in a couple quests. The music in this game always hits different. It's so good when it's there. But yes, I agree with you. The music in this game is lovely. I often find myself alone with my thoughts in this game. Because the music is ever so... patchy. Spotty. Let's check in with our crew first. Except for Kaden. Have you been doing it overall? Oh yeah, I'm loving this game. It's so much fun. Having a great time. The only beef I have is that the music is, like it just turns off when I'm exploring. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely. Need company? <laughs> Sounds boring. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. That's the only reason? <laughs> Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No. You only want I me for my to insinuate cipher. I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so joking? <laughs> you must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. <laughs> I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Good night, Deathlet, and hi, old boy. Welcome in. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. Got it. Don't joke with Liara. Or teach Liara how to joke, rather. All right, I guess we'll check with Kaden. How you doing, bud? Trying to get a sense of where I didn't crew's. figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the thorium. Yeah, I'm too busy to talk. All in triplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for a mirror. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. 
Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should have remembered that after what happened with Vernus. What happened? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since. Oh wow, only 26? Time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. The two categories of humans: Hell, jerks and I saints. Payback, I don't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt a girl, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. Oh, shit. Military issue talent, right in my face. Huh? Loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth, almost as strong as I can manage now. But at 17, that's something. Tapping that deep must have shocked the hell out of you. Not as much as it shocked Vernus. It killed him. Ha ha! Nice pun. His neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary. Quick. Not as shocked as he was. But he died. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Natics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Hmm. I want to know you're on our side. Whatever needs to be done. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. Mm-hmm. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Odina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Mm. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. You're free to believe whatever you want, Lieutenant. Just follow orders. Yes, ma'am. I should return to my duties now. Commander? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Huh? <laughs> I keep just... Lieutenant? Lieutenant? Yeah, put that boy in his place. Uh... Huh. Dang, he's got a little bit of spice to him. Alright. It's pretty interesting, I think. He killed a guy. It's pretty spicy. So... We've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew him? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Keep talking. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. He recruited you? I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. <laughs> We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables. Looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? Oh my gosh. I don't know. The drama. Was. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Like a freak. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. Silently moved. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Hmm. <laughs> That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. That's wild. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Huh. Every damn one. 
So long, Rex. Shepard. Jesus. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Hmm. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing. Good natured or otherwise. Ah, no fun, Skipper. Ashley, what makes you think you're all casual with me, huh? Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Hmm. Dismiss, ma'am. Hmm. What's it? Yeah, I guess Ashley is like not into alien races. I was trying to think like what's in her chili. She's not into alien races, and then the fact that she's the daughter of the person like we're actively pursuing. Makes sense. Checks out. Commander, good to see you. Just on a pure basis. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I like Rex too. I a Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs. What the? We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. <laughs> but this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. What did you find? These people are selling organs? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts. Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? The breeding? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants yeah. can increase their virility. Counteract Hi, baby Jinky. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what I would imagine. Each. That's 40,000 for a full set. For wait, wait. 10,000 10, each, 40,000 for a full... They got four balls? Rex? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. Quadribald. interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. <laughs> Hi, Casanova. Welcome in and Silver. Hello. Uh, what? Yeah, go on. One of my detainees started Quad balling it. profusely we offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Mm. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Wow. Exactly. Clone their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. How did he get them to bite off on that? Oh, they were poor. Each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. What? It's not your fault. You'd just leave it in them if it was fucked. You wouldn't just like take it out. Hey, yo, this guy's a freak. Thank you for the follow, CJ and Blue. And Warden. 
Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome in. Did you interview him? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Oh, really? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. He said, fuck it, we ball. Literally. I found out his ship was already leaving. <laughs> he threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. What? They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship They're already the fucked up. They got like three livers and two intestines and... Hostages were dead anyway. Exactly. They just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. I mean, not to pull uh, Thomas What's-His-Nuts with the train problem, but you are like utilitarian... Thomas Malthus? Not to pull a utilitarianism problem, but you got you got a baby on the train tracks and you got, you got the, the people with the organs on the train tracks, the fucked up people, and then you got the rest of humanity. Kill them anyways. Idiots! No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. You're right. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone. And like they're already that. fucked up. He's already been yeah, experimenting exactly. on them for. Those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Yeah. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Doctor? Hi, Commandant. Sarah? How are you? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Doctor Hart. His idea was. <laughs> told the military but they weren't convinced it was him dr hart i got the transponder frequency for his Come on. ship but i just can't get anyone to check it out i'll check out the coordinates when i get a chance wait we get to actually oh, go sorry. on this mission but commander take me with you when you go if it's Leon, i want to be there when you find him Ooh. hey yo that was juicy i was not expecting all that okay It's pretty fucking cool. Hi, Tally. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. You glad you're feeling better? See you smiling again. So Garrus mission. Doctor Ball was I'm taken. Much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Hmm. Okay. I should go. Glad you're good, Chica. Hell yeah, brother. Was that the whole team? That was the whole team. Caught up with all the lads. Everyone's great. Now I just go and sell everything. Including my four livers and three balls. Jinx, stop eating my keyboard, you rat. How do I get off this thing? I think I go this way. Uh, uh, I have not saved lately. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've saved actually. Personnel manual. That was a cool little side room. How the heck do I escape? I haven't been off this ship in so long manually that I forgot how to exit. Isn't there just like a side port door that I go through? Oh, it's up here, right? Yeah, boy. Um. Sure. 
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. The gang. Locked. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Yay! Mikhailovich. Rear Admiral Mikhailovich, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? No. Nope. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Uh... I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. I don't understand. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? What is this guy's this point? Experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Mmm, she is. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. What in the world? Commander, I'm not happy. I bet. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? We're trained for there are it. There no amateurs on this crew. They know to keep idle chatter minimized during combat. And I can bellow with the best DIs. A fair point. I suppose the design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things bass backwards. Bah! I had to bass backwards. that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. I'm just gonna keep being an asshole to this guy. Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. And then... There's two ways I could take that, Commander. But that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. <laughs> and we need to talk about your crew. My Commander. crew? Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you Turians? thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien <laughs> nationals free access to Alliance equipment. <laughs> Krogan? Asari? Koreans? Weren't she? Wasn't this a ship inspection? Sandbo, thank you for the 16 months. Hello, how are ya? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. How are you doing? I'm Normandy's commanding officer. The regs state I have the authority. Hi, Newt. Who does and doesn't come aboard. If you disagree, send a complaint up the chain of command. Sophistry, Commander. You know I'm right. You want them on board that bad? Fine. Don't quote regs at me. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? We need to kick ass. I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navy's is to win wars. Is that why I'm a specter? I'm not to look good? Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money. But I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. Wow. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Well, that was a whiplash of emotions. That guy's, a uh, Real nice. Alright. I have all my max abilities, so... Do not know what that's about. Seven. Yeah, damn. God, I have so many random items. Zero tech biotic protection. Hmm, 22. Less tech biotic protection, but... 
a lot more damage and shield protection. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Phoenix. Better in all of it. Wait, this is the one I was wearing. Or was I wearing an older Phoenix? I think I was wearing an older... I, I have no idea. Okay. Slightly upgraded. And we're matching. How cute. Oof. I don't know if she needs... Oh, this is a shotgun. Okay. Then Garrus is gonna need... Really nice AR. And a really nice sniper rifle. Hmm. Very nice. Hmm, I'm probably gonna keep like the highest stat stuff, like one or two of uh, the armor for each race and stuff like that, so when I equip the rest of the team, I still have enough left. Can I scan this booty? Oh, I've already scanned that guy. Hmm. Afro, thank you for the tier one sub, I'm so glad you're enjoying the vibes. In the community, welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Poor economic performance, Exogeny has and no ads. Its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. Yeah. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Yeah, they all died. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Oh no way! <laughs> is this current? Come oh, on, thank you for the 100 donuts. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. And Afro, thank you again Magus for the fresh tier one sub. Thank you for the support. Made me laugh about 50 times since I joined. Hell yeah, that's the spirit. We love to see it. Thank you guys. Dude, they're capitalizing off of their plant. Exogeny's a bunch of silly geese. Kalisa been seen in Aljolani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Maybe. What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? I say get stuffed. Make like a turkey on Thanksgiving and get stuffed, lady. So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all Anna! questions. Anna! I'm sure our viewers will understand. Thank you so much for 22 months. How are you, crumpet? Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Ooh, this is being televised. I'm honored. It's just another job. It's overdue. Coffee funds, impurity, thank you so much for the 198 donuts. I appreciate you. I freaking love the banks. Thank you. Thank you. I like that uh, sometimes when my middle part comes back, but then the bangs are still there. I look like a young, a small young boy. <laughs> uh, how are you doing today, Anna? What you been up to? Hmm. It's just another job. It's overdue. I could make this heavily politicized. Yeah, I'm honored. Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? <laughs> they know better. It's not like that. They don't question the me. Inspector Charter allows me to complete my missions any way I see fit. That's not quite an answer, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? A great human innovation. 
We're bridge building. We're bridge building. The Turians helped build Actually, it. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many Turians. innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I command the Normandy. Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform, and if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> no offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Whoa, lady! One last question, Commander. Jesus! Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? <laughs> the council protected him. <sighs> Sensitive topic. Time to shut you up. <laughs> Ooh, I can't confirm or deny that. I'm pretty sure that's classified. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. The fuck? Don't worry, we'll find everything out. That was... pushy. Uh, Ruru and Senti, thank you for the follows. Welcome to the community. Hello, hello. Yeah, that quickly became very... Politicized. I like this chick's outfit, the purple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She kind of looks like Yzma from Emperor's New Crew. <laughs> uh, have I scanned all the succulent? What are they called? Peacemakers? What are these guys? Succulent crabs in this area. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Runley, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Oh my god, the time has come. I'm selling everything. Oh my I don't even care. Korean human. Oh. I can't sell anymore? Oh, okay. I was like, are they out of money? Like... This isn't the Witcher. Toss a coin to your Turian. Oh, schmeckles a plenty. Oh, these are the fives. Oh, these are the six. I don't know what half this is. I'm just gonna keep enough to equip the boys back on the ship. Some ARs, some shotguns. I know Rex is gonna probably need a new outfit. Have not touched the humans one time, so don't really care what they're wearing. Uh... Do you guys like how I'm playing this game? <laughs> really, uh, reading all of the information. I'm just gonna sell this, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. Woo! I can't believe we're on level 8, goddamn. I feel like I can just sell all the fives because we're on eight. Like, that's three gens behind. I could kind of probably sell the sixes too. I mean, we're on eight. 
Heck yeah, Runley, welcome in! I'm glad you could catch me. I'm a millionaire! All right, I'm only keeping level seven stuff. I could not be bothered. Okay, we're, that's fine. Two millionaire? Am I a two, a twofer? Hello, Commander. Uh, Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock. All right. Now what? Shotgun? High rate of fire. I mean, it's like slightly better. I feel like I can just loot everything that I need. Like the shit I have equipped is better than... I don't know what this is, but I probably need- oh, I already have it, okay. I mean, like, everything I'm wearing is... This one's slightly better. Heavy armor. I don't know, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Honestly, Kaden and Ashley don't need anything, because they're never going to go on a mission, so you might as well sell all their stuff. Facts. Facts. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's kind of sad. They're never gonna see the light of day, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> Nasana, Presidium level, Embassy lounge in the Presidium level, Presidium level Embassy lounge. I have six left. Six keepers left. Presidian level. Citadel tower. Tower and Presidian level. Okay. This is an elevator. Where does this go? Docking bay. Nope. Presidium! Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. Was that us? In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. This song always reminds me of Feliz Navidad. Embassies, and we need to go to both, so we'll just start this way. Dude, this is so heckin' pretty, man. Look at that water! We had water like that in video games in 07? That's crazy. I mean, this is the legendary edition, but it's still really pretty. Hi, Mr. Cobble, welcome in. Hello, hello. Um. Embassy level. Hmm. Already scanned this big booty. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Oh, exclamation point. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. I know the truth. Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? Jesus! You wanted your sister dead? This chick's a bitch! If people found out my sister was a oh. criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. 
For killing her sister? You'll find the amount satisfactory. Credits won't cut it? I'm a specter, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. True, but I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari mods. Oh! I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. We can't Goodbye, be bought! Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Unless... I'm not for hire, unless... <laughs> Chad Relia, you know what I'm saying? I mean... $20 is $20. Uh, Southern Locust saw Mass Effect and added support. Hello, welcome in. Thanks for bringing in the good vibes. Hope you're having a good day. And thank you for the follow as well. I mean, we can't be bought, but spicy Asari prototype mods. We can be bought. We're just really, really expensive. I have two million schmeckles, and I have no idea what to spend them on, so... There's also that. This guy. Them all to enlighten them. Where there was only darkness, the enkindlers gave light. He's just preaching, standing there. Where there was only ignorance, the enkindlers gave wisdom. Where there was only silence, the to the wards. <gasps> Have I scanned you? God damn it! I'm missing six bug boys. Have I been across this bridge? To the other side? Maybe that's where all six are. Financial district? Maybe I haven't been over there. You were in the military. Yeah, I'm active duty Air Force. I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. What did I walk in on? This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. Oh... I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into What's me. What's happening? I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Not my problem. I care. Okay. That's your story. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. Oh, so they want to treat the baby. There's a chance that the baby could develop mm -hmm. the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. What are the drawbacks? Why is she against it? A very it? small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. This is such a political... It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. This is a very heavy conversation. I swear to God, the writing in this game is unlike anything else. I, this is what I was talking about with Ashley, just talking about how she, like, believes in God and, like, bringing up this random-ass, super deep conversation. Like, genetic mutations affecting the medicinal treatment of a child. Like, huh? What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Well, what happens if you get the gene therapy and it goes wrong? The chance of disease vice the danger of the therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? And is One that reversible? at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Arguably, the one in 50 would also potentially be like, am I the cause of the reason... Like, am I the cause of the child having a heart problem? But she did say it's treatable. 
It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. You're not helping. <laughs> I mean... True. But that's also not helping. <laughs> it's... Hmm... <sighs> I mean, he does need a little bit of a reality check. Him being pushy. And even if she is acting blindly out of grief, it's still her choice. But I feel like he could clap back to that and be like, yeah, but it's a stupid choice because she's in distress. Ah, uh, of course she is. So are you. Yelling at her will not bring your brother back. Oof. How dare you? I'm trying to do what's best for the baby. Uh. Then do so. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know... At the bottom of the decision... The baby's safe. He's just sad. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. See, there we go. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. That was some sort of resolution. Damn. Where are my succulent crabs? Barlavon. Shopkeeper. <gasps> yes! Five more! Only five more. They've all got to be on this side of the citadel. Come on. Ah, human. This one is They talk in the third person. We learned that from the codex. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Face name. Though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Versus the soul name. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Show okay. me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be dis Kinetic stabilizer. Advanced VI six functionality reduces weapon kickback to improve accuracy. 159,000. Stability? I mean, I already have a good shot. Not to be a weirdo. I think I'll be oh, going. Oh, fuck. Return soon. Like... This one receives new shipments regularly. Oh, does he? Commander. It is Show good. me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. Non-human armor. This is a pretty big upgrade. Buy that one. Quarian. I'll buy the Krogan one too. Sure. And I'll buy the Quarian one. Sure. Commander, I'm not sure what their levels are at, but it is good to see you again. Would you care? Show me your this? items. Oh, this one is pleased. Let's see standard so. items. Phoenix four. Ooh. Lame. Okay. Good night, Guardian. See you next time. Get a good sleep in. <gasps> Succulent crab! Four more crabs required.
Oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. <gasps> I've had my office rearranged five times now. Three! Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Who? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Acolytes! Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. Hey, yo. And relieve it. Can I? Uh... I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. Oh. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be good. Okay. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. Huh. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Okay. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. If I get a phone call from them? Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Oh, we are so fortunate as to have a meeting with yes, this. Course, oh, mistress. my. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Okay. Where do I go? Say less. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Oh my. Hi, Ryan. I am looking disrespectfully. Is there a crab back here? <laughs> Sorry. Eyes on the real prize. You know what I'm saying? I have no interest in talking to you, peasant. Where is my... Sexy lady. Where are the crabs? <laughs> Wow, I just skipped a three to four month line. No wonder why the list is so long. That is close enough, Commander. Oh. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here. It's close enough. Ago. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. Pleasure to That's others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to meet with the Commander. Yes, I did. Bully are a certain problem that could use your expertise. This is protective. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. Hmm. This went one of two ways. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay, sexy blue lady, I get it. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. You use me for my skills and then... What is this egg? And then you send me on my way? Jesus. This lady doesn't play. Okay, so... Huh. Interesting. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. 
many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the Consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. <laughs> exactly. That's just what I was thinking. What a scam. Um... So... Either he, like, wanted to be more than friends and she was like, mm, no. Or she took things the wrong way. I don't know. I'm interested to see how this goes. <gasps> I already scanned that guy. Damn it. Hmm. Why does she have a name? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding oh. on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. Why are you acquainted you with them, lady? Galaxy a favor. Sure. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Okay. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Uh we don't need to draw things out. She told me they're bad guys. I believe her. Where are the crabs at? Hmm. There might still be a crab in the embassies. Ooh. Y'all yeah, need to go check that out. But either way, this is a pretty good place to stop. I know we just embarked on some side quests. We got to go talk to the guy in the bar. We got some crime bosses to kill. We got some upgrades for our armor. But I'm going to call it quits right here because we got a lot done we got a lot done a lot of side questing a lot of selling we made it back to the citadel and my brain is my brain has effectively become mass effect <laughs> my brain is mush so i'm all i'm all tapped out for the day but we will continue next time with more of the things